I hate watching like the get to know me's and people are like, oh, I'm only gonna answer a few more questions or they ask you like six questions. Like, babe, I'm here to hear you answer every single damn question on there. I wanna hear everything. I wanna hear your answer to everything. So let me take a sip so we can just really get into it. Yeah. My name is Angel and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have never actually done one of these before, but I ask you guys on Instagram, here on YouTube, as well as on TikTok to ask me questions for this get to know me. I was genuinely surprised the amount of questions that we got, so let's get into it. I think we should start with the YouTube girlies. Oh, per. <laughs> Number question for Mr. Brown Hook. Anzi, how much is the dowry? Tell me so I can start saving up. <laughs> You'll have to talk to my uncles about that. For the people who don't know, I am Zimbabwean. Um, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe and I moved to Canada when I was 10 and we still do the dowry processes. It's called Lobola before you get married. So you do have to meet with the uncles before you even attempt to talk about marriage. Marriage who? At Mitchell 689 asked, how did I collaborate with James Charles? Love your videos. Thank you. So actually it was a contest that was run on TikTok and on Instagram. James put out a thing saying, hey, my new brand painted is coming out and I'd love to fly out 10 people from around the world to LA for a brand trip, fully paid for, all expenses paid, period. And I actually jokingly applied. I jokingly applied, but mostly because I never thought in a million years I could ever be selected. I was like, you know what? I'm feeling Dululu. Let me put my name out there. It is what it is. But tell me why I received a DM from James. I've been selected for the next stage of the selection for the contest. I was like, oh my gosh, this is as good as it's gonna get. And then I got another email a few weeks later talking about some. We want to book an interview with the casting manager so that you can like just like we really get to know who you are. Got to the interview and it was a Zoom situation. I have my honest genuine reaction because I was actually going to do like, I was trying to film like a YouTube video where I was doing like behind the scenes of the James Charles contest or whatever. Like that, that's the video I was trying to go for. So I, was, I never thought that I would ever be selected. So I thought to myself, you know what, at least like let me show people the behind the scenes of what like actually happens when these contests are run online. And tell me why James Charles was on. Ah! Anyway, so they told me, surprise, we actually selected you for the thing. I went to LA, the vlog is on here. All the TikToks are on TikTok and they're in a neat little cute little playlist ready for you to binge watch because the content was sickening. Mosa Tamaga asked, how old am I? I'm actually 24 years old. Ew, ew, that sounds so serious when I say it out loud. But next let's go into Instagram actually. There's lots of really good ones in here. Chelsea asked if I am going to get married. Yes. When TBD? When am I coming to Kenya so I can take you around? Ngezi, that's crazy. When are you inviting me to Kenya? That's a question. That's one of my friends. When are you inviting me? Have I gotten an invite? Exactly. <laughs> when am I getting into the studios for <laughs> beautiful voice? Crazy. Not you putting me on the spot like that. So if you guys have ever joined my TikTok lives, you know that sometimes we like to mess around. We do a little bit of everything in TikTok lives. Lives dedicated to playlists, to listening to music and vibing. I do makeup tutorials, and then I also do co-hosting with other creatives or like with other makeup content creators. A crossover episode situation on live. But sometimes I like to write music and produce music on TikTok live. And you guys that are watching to help me come up with the lyrics, to find the beat, like everything. You're just part of the whole process. So we did that a couple times jokingly, and now this man is actually taking it seriously. I am not releasing any music, I promise you. <laughs> it's terrible. It's just fun. When is my debut single dropping? Wow. When? Who knows? Stay tuned, maybe. I really love your makeup. You inspire me a lot. So when did you learn how to put on makeup? That's a great question. Like, actually taking it seriously, I feel like in the last like year, year and a half. But I did start doing makeup back in 2018. And I was watching my James Charles tutorial videos, my Nikki tutorials. You know what I mean? Bretman Rock, all of the OG YouTubers, and I was watching them do their makeup. Um, Majori, her base is flawless and stunning. Um, so I was watching all the major YouTubers back then, trying to get my makeup right. And during COVID is when I really locked in, and I was doing like a makeup look a day. Um, so that's around the time that I started doing makeup. And honestly, my best tip for someone who's trying to learn how to do the makeup is to really just practice. Practice makes perfect. I've done my makeup hundreds of times to the point that now, minus the eye look, I can do my full base makeup in about half an hour. The base makeup is nothing crazy. Like it'll never cost you too much, like take too much time out of your day. It really won't. Um, it's the eye makeup that I feel like really takes a lot of time because you have to really like concentrate. If someone asked, is Kanye san my little bro? For you guys who haven't seen the video that went viral, when I was in Zim, 
my little brother, Kanisa, Kanye, um, was playing the drums. He's a very talented young musician, and I cannot wait to see what he's gonna do with the rest of his life. I just like recorded just on some, just like wow, like can you guys take a look at my younger brother playing? Like he's so talented, posted it, and it went viral, over a million views. The original musician, Oscar Mbo, actually saw the video and commented on it. SABC One from South Africa reached out because they wanted him to come and feature on the show, and so it was like a really, really big deal. Um, but yes, he is my little brother. Technically a cousin, but as you know in Africa, all your cousins are your siblings. So all of my cousins are my sisters and my brothers, period. Where in Canada do I stay? I'm in Alberta. No, we like it over here, kind of. Um, what uni did I go to? I went to Grant McEwen University. I did a Bachelor of Arts in Social Work. Did three years. Decided that ooh, maybe it's not for me. And um, I'm currently studying heavy equipment tech right now and I'm really enjoying it and it's really funny because even at my work and my job I'm like the only female <laughs> and the only black person actually as well like, let's let's add that layer to that it's just so comical it's so interesting when they're like oh so this is coming up on screen to go do this and like send one of the apprentices to do it and I show up <laughs> I was like yeah, hi <laughs> surrounded by all these like rough tough older white guys who've been in like the oil industry for like 10 plus years and it's just, it's comical. Um, someone asked me, when will I return to Jamaica? So, oh, Jamaica treated me so good. I'll post the vlog soon, because I filmed everything and then I just never showed you guys. Oh, how did I adjust to moving from Zim to Canada and was it easy to make friends? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one because I spoke an extremely broken, like I spoke extremely broken English when I moved here. And I would say it was really hard to adjust because I was only 10 years old. One of the biggest adjustments for me was the food. The food here tastes funny. And I think it's because all of the food that's grown overseas here in North America is chemically altered and genetically altered, so on and so forth. So I, the food just tastes different, period. And so I remember for the longest time when I first came to Canada, the only thing that I could keep down were bananas and eggs and so that's all I ate It's because that's the only thing that tasted the closest to home so I would say that was really hard and then of course the language barrier was really difficult but like I found myself like struggling I struggled with the fact that my accent was different because I had that deep Shona accent that deep Shona accent but I I would say I made friends pretty easily I feel like I made friends really really easily really really quickly Canada is one of those countries that's just so perfect because there's so many different cultures that are here. Like you'll meet lots of Zimbabweans here. Like you'll go to school, you'll meet Zimbabweans. People from Nigeria, you'll meet people from Sierra Leone, you'll meet people from Liberia, you'll meet people from India, from South Asia, you'll meet people from all parts of Europe, you'll meet people from Russia, Ukraine, Ukraine. Like Canada is kind of like a melting pot of all of these different cultures all coming together. And so I feel like it's really, really easy in, in that sense to make friends because everybody's different, right? And so the thing that I kind of struggled with the most though was my accent. Adjusting to speaking only in English all the time. Because again, when I first moved here, I only had one Zim friend. And we really clicked, but we didn't go to school together. So like school was really hard. I remember like my grades were really, really low for the first couple of years that I was here just because I didn't really speak English that well. And I went from having all of my subjects in Shona so all of my subjects is all of a sudden being in English. I think it's definitely doable, but it does take time. But I think what does help is if you are thinking of moving overseas, whether it's Canada or somewhere else, is to, first and foremost, you need to find the Zim community. I promise you, there is a Zim community somewhere. You can find them on Facebook, you can search Zim community, and put the country that you're in. And you find them on Facebook, you can search on TikTok, you can search on Instagram, find other Zim people in the city that you're at and that will help tremendously because they're going to put you on to like the places to eat if you come here i can put you on to all the different places where you can find zim food so imported mazoa imported lemon creams all the snacks where you can find ufu for santa where you can find you know all these different things borrowers um yeah if you knew you couldn't fail what dream would i chase easy i would drop that debut song <laughs> If I knew I couldn't fail, 100%. That was my first dream, like actually low key. When I was like a kid, that's the first thing I ever remember wanting to be, was to be the next Beyonce. That was my dream growing up. And 
I really, really, really enjoyed like becoming a performer, and I'm a Leo. If you believe in that, I'm a Leo. So you already know we love that. You know, just being in front of lots of people. And I don't love being in front of people, but I feel like when I'm in my element, when I'm really like doing my thing, I really enjoy being in a leadership position. And so, yeah. So I feel like that's probably why I gravitate a lot towards YouTube and gra gravitate towards like content creation so much, is because I'm just such a Leo. <laughs> I'm just a girl. <laughs> Okay, period. So those are all the questions I'm going to answer from Instagram. TikTok had the most comments. TikTok had just about 100 comments. That's a lot. Someone said, follow me so we can chat. Chat about what? No, actually, I'm not even trying to be rude. Chat about what? Talk about what? Like, but we can chat without me having to follow you. And it's not that I'm stingy with my follows. I just, I find it really strange when like accounts with like no face, no content, nothing, are like, follow me so we can chat. Chat about what? Show your face, maybe. And then maybe we'll talk. How do you become so confident? I need some tips. Whew. That's a rough one. That's that's an interesting one. I would honestly say, fake it till you make it. That's my best advice. I have to think about it for a second, but honestly, fake it till you make it. You fake it until you start to feel it. Um, I gave this example once before. But Quick voiceover because I completely butchered this analogy. For people who struggle with depression or anxiety or um, are just struggling with mental health, one of the powerful behavioral treatments that they will usually do with patients is essentially faking it until you make it. Um, so if you have a phobia, for example, they'll advise you to do exposure therapy where you're like, if you're scared of spiders, try to expose yourself to, to spiders and be around spiders and, you know, almost as if like you're pretending as if they don't scare you until you get to a point where they don't scare you type vibe. Or people who struggle with depression, um, where they'll have them act out or do specific actions that a happy version of themselves would make until eventually those feelings start to become more genuine but it is backed by science and i'd encourage you to really look into it but period another really good tip for how to become confident is to become to create an alter ego a perfect version of yourself so like for Nicki minaj roman for megan the stallion tina snow for so many beyonce it's sasha fierce you know what i mean so all these huge celebrities, people who are normally looked at, look to for confidence, also do this as well. But create the perfect alter ego for you. The person, this alter ego is you, but they're not scared of anything. They're the hottest person ever touched to earth. They're the smartest person ever. They're emotionally intelligent. Like you just, it doesn't have to be the things that I just mentioned, but you just think about all the different things that you would want your perfect self to have, like this characteristics that are important to you. And then you try to embody that. You step into that character and you can step in and out of that character. Um, that's how a lot of people get started is with alter ego. How do I get a job in Canada? So one of the biggest sites to find a job is Indeed.com. Check it out. And also another really good way to find a job is through Facebook, actually. Facebook. Not Facebook Marketplace, just Facebook. So if you know the province that you want to live in, you can search the industry that you want to get into and the province, or you can find jobs and put the province. And you can find Facebook groups, join those Facebook groups and apply for jobs through there. And usually you can ask people, talk to people, Reddit as well. I would encourage you to join any Reddit subreddits that have um, people from your country traveling to a specific country. And then also the Canada Job Board. I'll put the website here. This is the Government of Canada's official job site, but Indeed is one of the biggest places to find jobs as well. Two tips for beginners that are learning how to do makeup. Perfect! I have a makeup tutorial. I will link it right here. It's gonna come up. Period. I have so many videos. I'll put the thumbnails here, 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 and here. These are all beginner-friendly videos long form videos that you can really get into. <laughs> Someone said, what country is this? That's jokes. That's been happening on TikTok. That actually like, the way that it absolutely killed me the first time I saw that on TikTok. And then that one video where their, their entire comment section was, what country is this? What country is this? With the same promo photo as jokes. If you haven't seen this trend before, I encourage you to go look up on TikTok, what country is this? And you will find, it's magical. It's so funny. And what inspired me to do content? Ooh, that's a good one as well. Ooh, I just need to take, a breath and drink some water because it's been a minute we've just been answering fair questions mm. 
I hate watching like the get to know me's and people are like, oh, I'm only gonna answer a few more questions or they ask you like six questions. Like, babe, I'm here to hear you answer every single damn question on there. I wanna hear everything. I wanna hear your answer to everything. So let me take a sip. So we can just really get into it, yeah. Someone asked me what inspired me to do content. I think it's the same for most creators where I was not seeing Zimbabwean representation in social media. Like I was seeing a lot of baddies, but all the baddies that I'm seeing were the Fashion Nova babes, the mixed babes, the, I wasn't really seeing a lot of black girl content until COVID when I actually started purposefully looking only for Zim babes. But it was really hard because a lot of the Zim babes don't claim Zim. So it was really hard to find to find y'all. But I got to a point where I was like, if I can't find Zim babes that are doing makeup content, Zim babes that are doing YouTube channels, Zim babes that are Instagram babes, Zim babes that are TikTok famous, I will become that. I wanted to become that representation for myself because growing up too, like, like I said, I, I've been in Canada since I was 10, so the most formative points of my life, my teenage years, I was in Canada. And I went to a school where I was the only black person there, aside from one other girl. We were the only like two girls in a school full of white people, not just white people, that's a lie, because again, melting pot. People of different nationalities and different races, of course, but we were the only two black people there. But it was majority white people. And so it was really difficult because if I ever liked boy, he wouldn't link me back because I'm dark skinned. And I was always the last person to be chosen. Like, in when I did finally get a boyfriend, much love. <laughs> uh, when I finally did get a boyfriend, it was like, I was like the token black girl. You know, people do the thing where they'd be like, oh, because I know her, I can say the N word or I can say racist stuff or I can make racist jokes because I know her. And it's, it was just, oh. And another thing that inspired me to get into content creation is I also wanted to reconnect with my culture. That's my... <laughs> he, want, he wants to know if I wanted Sansa. Of course I want Sansa, period. Get you a man who can make Sansa. Thank you. Another thing that inspired me to create content was just wanting to get reconnected with my culture. So I really wanted to learn Shona. I really wanted to learn Devele. Devele, and Devele is my first language. So straight out the womb, out the jump, I was speaking it's in Devele. I was in Devele, baby. Yeah, well. Part of me sick of me as soon as I relearn it in Devele, my yo, prepare to be sick of me. Shona is like, okay, but Devele, <laughs> she's that girl. But, anyways, I really wanted to really connect with my culture, and so the way that I was able to do that was posting videos on TikTok, putting out my feelers, being like, hey, I'm Zimbabwean, if you're Zimbabwean, let's connect. And I was able to make Zimbabwean friends online. Oh, someone else asked what age I started doing makeup. 18. Ooh, any health tips you could recommend? I want to be extra thick, but I don't want the belly fat. That's a good question. When I tell you, Sansa will do wonders for your body. <laughs> Sansa will do wonders for your body. But on jokes aside, <laughs> jokes aside, Sansa actually does wonders for your body. But number two, what I will say, it's really difficult to target gain weight. And also, you also have to keep in mind, I used to be skinty. Let's, let's actually get into it for a second. Get into it. I used to be skinty. I used to be this thick figure. And now I got the curves. And I feel like what a lot of people don't want to talk about is the fact that the way you look is 100% dependent on your genetics. The only reason I'm able to is because my family, my mom, you know what I mean? So. I, I'm never gonna be that person who's gonna tell you eat like this, work out like this, this many times, da da da, and don't eat this times, only drink this, da da da, and you'll look like me because genetics is number one. But I will say, Sansa will do wonders for your body. No, got a nanny, like, kinda da, where is your fam, or what are you studying, how that day, Payo Chita. I had that day, Payo Chita makeup saying you're studying. So I answered the studying question already. Uh, no, got a nanny, no, got a dick. Guys, are you hearing this Shona? <laughs> are you hearing this Shona? Okay, for my non Shona speakers, I do currently live alone. <laughs> TBD? Um, and where is my family? Most of my family is around the world, honestly. All of you guys, I swear you hate me. I actually do because most of you guys are just like scattered around the world. I have lots of family in Edmonton. I have been blessed with lots of family. Um, one thing I don't actually talk about is the fact that I, I'm one of those no contact babes. Moved out when I was 15. I was kind of adopted 
by other people, strange people at the time, now they're family, um, through my church, and I consider them to be my family. So of course, that's my family. But in terms of like blood relatives, um, I do have uh, most of my blood relatives are all over the world, honestly, in the States, Cayman Islands, South Africa, Botswana, um, Zambia, the UK. Y'all are scattered everywhere, and so. Yeah, so that's kind of what my family tree kind of looks like. When did I start being passionate about makeup? I've been passionate about makeup from the jump. I've been passionate about makeup since I was still in high school, since I was young. I used to like go sleep over at friends' houses and like put on makeup and then try to like take it off and go home. Because I would, of course, my African parents never allowed me to wear makeup, but I would like try to take it off before I go home. But you know, my mom would always be locked in. She'd be like, what's that stuff? Because I didn't take it off properly. But I've always loved makeup. I always have. But I just was never good at makeup. And I never really practiced. And just, I didn't start practicing until I was like 18. That's when I started making big girl money. And uh, spending some big girl money. Let me drink again, guys. I'm actually thirsty. <laughs> mm. Oh, did, I, did you get my email? I sent a song that I dedicated to you. How is it? Ooh. Can we listen to it right now? I actually saw the email. But did I listen to it at the time? I appreciate that. The song is good. The beat is good. I'll listen to the rest of it later. But this is fire. It's actually like it's actually pretty decent. Oh, period. Now I have to do a transition to it. Now I actually have to do a transition to it. Oh, I love that. Is that where we're at now in life that people are making songs about me? Period. Ah! I'm so gassed right now. TikToker and my favorite makeup look, my favorite TikToker, that's hard. I have so many favorite TikTokers. Off of the top of my head, I will name people that I consistently have to search up because I just have to know what they're doing. Number one, Rati Supremacy. This is one of my favorite makeup looks by Rati. She's also going to music right now and she's killing it. Um, second favorite TikToker is Ashini W. All know this girl. I don't do Nima, and if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> um, Nima means like, I feel like she's being stingy with her content. Like she knows, like she can give us that like, good content. Maybe it's just because it was COVID. Like she was like posting every single day, and I miss that every single day. Sometimes she goes a couple days without posting, and I just need my fix. Like I'm, I'm sat here like, now what? <laughs> it's yummy. She's one of my favorite TikTokers as well. She's a professional makeup artist and my friend. Um, so go check her out for sure. Oh, why am I? I'm actually mad. Why do I have to search that up? I don't. Monet with Michael. Monet is my girl. But I also really enjoy watching Nadal. She's another one of my friends. Blessed to know her. She's such a sweetheart, but she's also a TikToker and I love watching her content. Gives like, I'm just a girl. Mm. You know what I mean? It gives like that, like, you know when you used to like watch the like, the girly movies way back when in like the early 2000s, the good ones? That's how I feel when I watch her content. Cause she's just existing and just being a boss babe and emotionally intelligent and giving us looks. And it's just, it's giving like, low effort is the, is the wrong way to put it, but it's just giving like, she's just living her life and the camera happens to be there. It's not giving like she's turning on her video, her camera and like, creating content it's giving like she's your camera is just there and she's just living life that's what i really enjoy about her content i, I have so many favorites of i spend <sighs> look at this grossness that says you spent 50 hours and 54 minutes on tiktok this past week 50 hours and 54 minutes let's just round up 51 hours on tiktok this past week 36 percent more than the previous week i average 40 hours which is a full-time job on TikTok. So those are not my only two favorite TikTokers. I definitely have more than that, but yeesh. Ooh, what am I most proud of regarding myself? I love how I'm just able to set my mind to things and get them done. And I feel really proud of myself for that. Cause I feel like I just genuinely like manifested the life that I live out of thin air. 
like I really was just a little kid, kumusha, bathing a couple times a week, walking 5-10 kilometers just to grab water with no electricity, with no TV, no cable. <laughs> I'm laughing, sorry. <laughs> he just started laughing. My man, my man, my man. Hello, this man. Am I wrong though? Okay. <laughs> And so I'm proud of how just like I'm, I'm able, I've been able to a persevere through a lot of situations, and for the most part, I feel like I've done most of this myself. You know, I'll give credit where credit is due to a few people, but I feel like for the most part, like I've really just I've done the thing, you know, and I'm really proud of myself for that. When am I gonna go live? I will have a live schedule for you guys. Did I grow up in Zimbabwe? It's all caps. <laughs> yes, I did. Up until I was ten, so I did. Grade zero, one, two, three, four, five in Zim. I left at the beginning of grade six. Someone says, please do the ceiling challenge. I can't believe this is the comment I still get. I ignored the trend when it was happening and I pretended like it wasn't happening. And my entire comment section was, do the ceiling challenge, ceiling challenge, ceiling challenge. What is my Snapchat username? I don't actually use Snapchat, guys. Most of these questions are like, I'm not gonna, I'm actually, I'm not putting it out in the world. You know who you are. Let's do better. I'm my Zimbabwe names. Mine are Tinashe and Mudzai now. Wow. So my full government name is Angel. Tariro. Tariro is my Zimbabwe name. Govere. Don't Google me. <laughs> what is my daily facial routine? I'm actually going to be filming a YouTube video where I'll do my facial skincare routine. And to really show you guys, because I get this question a lot. And I recommend products, but I feel like there's nothing better than me going to the store with you. And we're going to restock because I'm... Like, look at this. Most of the products that I'm using are on their last legs. What is my totem? I think the porcupine or something like that. No, it's cheap. It's Shona. The word is escaping. LOL. What is my type? Ooh! That is a good question. Enough said. Um. What is my Instagram handle? All of my handles anywhere. If you want to find me on X slash Twitter, I'm not calling it X, it's Twitter. If you want to find me on Twitter, crazy for E2. YouTube, crazy for E2. Instagram, crazy for E2. Spotify, crazy for E2. Anywhere, crazy for E2. How did I get TikTok famous? I don't consider myself TikTok famous, actually. It's interesting. I think only people in Zim think I'm TikTok famous. It's crazy. Because I have never been asked to take photos with anybody ever until I landed in Zim and we were like chicken in so I'm to be like oh can I see a photo I know you from TikTok oh you're that girl from TikTok I'm walking down the street you're that girl from TikTok at the wedding you're that girl from TikTok just living life you're that girl from TikTok and so I feel like people in Zim really like y'all really love and rep your own people and I really appreciate that I love that about my people period that's us how did I grow my account subscribers only <laughs> Um, for I just actually launched a subscribers only on my TikTok, and this is how you can get the subscription. This is how much it is low pennies, cheap for all the information you're going to be getting. And on the subscriber live, we're going to have subscriber only lives. You can request videos, and I can post them, and the videos are only going to be visible to subscribers only. Um, how I film my videos, how I edit my videos, how transition tutorials, literally everything. But and subscribers. So, that question, ding ding. Have I been to Zambia? No, but I want to. How to remove pimples? Oh my gosh, if you have a pimple, throw that mask on there. It's a mud mask. Um, pop it on there, put a little bit on the pimple, leave it overnight, wash it off, you should be good. Friendship says, <laughs> Yo, that's actually jokes. Iwe, Satambaneni. Wow. Do I have a sister? Yes, I have so many sisters. I actually do. Outside of my cousins, like I mentioned earlier, your cousins are gonna be your siblings. Um, I actually do have like actual sisters. I have I have a lot of sisters. I have a lot of family. Hey, let's make it quick because this video is already 40 minutes long. Crazy! Can I draw you? Yes. Can we be friends? Yes. Awesome Quasha where do I be? Mkwasha, I don't be guys have that as we speak right now. I'm saying please bubble bath me. L O L. All the bubble baths are here, you can find them here. I'm tired, I think that's everything, honestly. Those, those are all the questions I'm gonna answer. That's not exactly 100 questions, but 
I feel like those are all the questions you could ever have or ever want to know about me. What else is there? I think that's everything. That's my life. 40 minutes. <laughs> I'll definitely edit it out, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other videos that you want me to do, make sure you comment them down below. I'll be posting three times a week. Um, I post everything on here, skincare and makeup videos, um, vlogs. That's what's up. I just wanted to hold space for a second. I just wanted to just breathe. Have you breathed today? Just Period. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Right now, uh, I'm going to show on you can go to the end. So, yeah. And again, make sure you check me out on my social media. It's crazy for me too, on Instagram and on TikTok. Um, and stay tuned for the next video. Mwah.